Hi friends. In this lesson, we are going to learn about stems and leaves. Class three, subject science. So we will learn about different types of stems and leaves, functions of stems and leaves, uses of stems and leaves, and why plants shed leaves. So we know that plant is divided into many different parts: root, stem, fruit, leaf, and flower. So first of all, we are going to learn about stem. The parts of the plant. A plant body is divided into two main parts. First one is a shoot system, and second one that is root system. So in the root, it is the part of a plant that grows under the soil, and shoot, it is the parts of the plant that grows above the soil, and it consists of the stem. the branches the leaves the buds flowers and the fruits also so let us see first stem so there are many different types of stems are there when the plants are in younger state at that time plant stem color is green in color and when that plant grows at that time that stems become woody and brown color So in this picture we can see both are mango plant. In the first picture the stem of mango plant is green in color and in the second picture the stem of the plant it is woody or brown in color. Like that there are many different types of stems are there. So first of all we are going to learn the types of stem. Some stems are with branches some stems are without branches some stems are creeping stem and some stems having hairs so like that there are many different types of stems are there first one stem with branches second one stem without branches third one twisted or erect stem and fourth one stem with thorns or hairs So first of all we are going to learn about stem. Do you know the stem of a big tree is called trunk. And the trunk of the tree has many rings inside it. And they are called growth rings. And by counting the number of rings we can calculate the age of trees. And that trunk it can be very strong. The stem of some plant grows under the soil also they that stem are called as the underground stem so let us see first type that is stem with branches or stem without branches so mango tree have many branches but coconut tree have no branches you can see these two pictures in the first picture i have shown that stem without a branches so coconut is one of the example of stem without branches and second one stem with branches so mango tree having many branches so next one that stems are usually erect but in some plants they can be creeping or twisted like pumpkin plants So pumpkin plants it is one of the examples having creeping stems. Next one we can see in this picture some stems having thorns some stems having hairs. So this is also one of the type of stem. So we can see stem of the bamboo is smooth while the stem of the mango tree is very rough. Now we will learn about types of leaves. There are many different types of leaves are there. Some leaves are simple, some leaves are compound, some leaves are different shapes and sizes. So leaves are the important parts of a plant and they are arranged in different ways. So we are going to learn many different types of leaves. Here I have shown you many different sizes and shapes of leaves. Some leaves are pinnate shaped some leaves are reticulate some are palmate leaves and some leaves are parallel leaves also some leaves are lobed shaped 
So we are going to learn all these shapes. There are many different types of leaves according to the shapes, arrangements and ages. So first we will see that how shape leaves. So people tree it is one of the example of how shape leaves. Second shape that is spear shape leaves. So example of it that is mango tree leaves. Next one hind or we can say palm shape leaves. And the example of it that is castor. That is next needle shape leaves. Some leaves are needle shape leaves. An example of that leaves that is palm tree. Now let us see some plants having different leaves. Banana plants having very big leaves and tulsi plants are small ones. Then banana plants leaves we are using to serve food. Right? And tulsi plants having the special smells. We are using tulsi plants leaves as a medicine. Now next, people tree having heart shaped leaves and lotus plants having a round one. Now let us see functions of leaves. So leaves are very important parts of the plant. That green leaves make food for the plant. They are also help plants to breathe. Leaves of certain plants such as cabbage and spinach that store food. And that green leaves can prepare food with the help of photosynthesis process. So photosynthesis process means what? The process by which green leaves make food with the help of carbon dioxide, water and in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll also. So this process is called as photosynthesis. That photo means light and synthesis means putting together. So leaves are making food. So how that green leaves making food? So green leaves needed three different types of things sunlight, water and carbon dioxide. How they are making food? So roots absorb water and mineral from the soil and send them to the leaves through stem. Leaves take in carbon dioxide through stomata and absorb sunlight with the help of chlorophyll. They use sunlight to put water and carbon dioxide together to make a food. And this plant food is a kind of simple sugar called glucose. So that leaves are making food for all the parts of the plant. Now let us see functions of stem. That stem allows the plant to stand upright and holds up the branches and leaves. It holds the leaves in a such a way that they can get maximum sunlight. That stem carries water and nutrients from the roots to the leaves. And it carries food prepared in the leaves to the different parts of the plant. So this is one of the figure that stem can carries water and minerals. It absorbs from the roots and travel to the other parts of the plant. So minerals are found in the soil and plants need them to remain healthy. Now again we will see the again different functions of stem. So in this picture we can see sugar cane and potato both are the stem. That stems store food for the plant. Now let us see uses of leaves. Some leaves are used as a food like spinach and parsley. Some leaves like tea plants we are using as a food. So beetroot, spinach, the turnip and the cauliflower these are all vegetables. So out of these that spinach leaves we are using as a food. Next one that uses of leaves, that spices, we are using all leaves as spices. So in the first picture I have shown you one example of curry leaves. Next one that is baby leaves and third one coriander. 
So all these leaves we are using as a spices. Third use is of leaves. Leaves are used to make medicines. For example, tulsi and neem leaves we are using as a medicine purpose. Again, the next use is of leaves to cook and serve food. We are using turmeric leaves and banana leaves because they are big in size. And next use is of leaves as a decoration purpose. At the time of many occasions and festivals, we are using mango leaves. We are using mango trees leaves, coconut tree leaves as a decoration. So these are all uses of leaves. So after the uses of leaves, we are going to see some trees that are shedding their leaves. During the winter season, some trees shed all their leaves. Do you know why? Some trees, leaves, they are changing the color also. Why do trees shed their leaves? During the winter, trees have to spend lot of energy to keep the leaves healthy because the cold winter winds can damage the leaves. So some trees shed their leaves in winter. Why do some leaves change the color from green to brown? Let us see. The chlorophyll breaks down. The green color disappears. And the yellow to orange color become visible. So we can see some leaves color between changing green to brown. So like this, we have learned many more things about stains and leaves. I hope you may have understood this lesson. Thank you.